Uh, okay, well, we finally got Pirates in uh, Captain Blood. This is uh, me talking about Chapter 7, Pirates, um, which... Uh, it's interesting how we're getting dealt with of the, you know, the majority of people who are enslaved on these islands are are um, black people from Africa, enslaved, enslaved for their entire life, uh, dying in fucking horrible numbers, I know from history, not that you would ever know from this book. Uh, in this book, uh, we've got this whole thing where uh, they're used to, they're, they're used as tools for the villain to keep down the heroes who are enslaved, um, but no mention of, you know, their own, their, their own plight. And indeed, there is, uh, in this section, Jeremy Pitt is uh, taken to be, to be caned, um, with a split, split cane, caned, uh, for, uh, having, having some kind of a guilty, uh, discussion with James Nuttall, the hapless, hapless, uh, debtor guy who they've gotten to buy the ship and who couldn't find, couldn't find, uh, Peter, Peter Blood, so she decided to search around in the plantation, like, right under the things and went up to Jeremy Pitt and started talking to him. And when Colonel Bishop came up, up at them, he ran off in complete guilt, you know, basically giving away the game and Pitt refuses to give out his name. So he is taken to the stockades where the book says, Oh, if this guy had been, if Colonel Bishop had been an actual self-respecting man, he would have had a black person, uh, beat the shit out of uh, Jeremy thing, but instead he descended to such bestial action himself. Uh, thus, you know, the book saying, well, you know, bestial people, that's, that's black people, which, uh, it sucks. It sucks. This, this is, um, you know, uh, this is a book written at the uh, turn of the 19th, 19th century and is obviously, really racist, uh, even while being, you know, kind of ripping, ripping, ripping yarn with bad, evil villains and stuff like that. Uh, and indeed at the very end, when we, when, uh, a, a ship coming in, which is like, oh, it's got an English, English thing, English flag on it. When suddenly, uh, it starts firing and, uh, you know, great clouds of the, the fire of the gunpowder cause these things. And, what happens? The English flag goes down and up goes the Castile, the, um, the gold and crimson banner of Castile. And that is, um, the colonel's like pirates roared the colonel. Then again, pirates. And he is completely terrified. And beside him, um, his Negroes looked at him grinning idiotically, all teeth and eyeballs. So I, I can see the caricature, the racist caricature of, bug-eyed um black people with super big 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 teeth it's just like it's just a just capper of just like fucking horrible uh racist imagery uh in in this book so um yeah it's it's taking place in in the barbado in barbados but you can tell that this is an author who's yeah that's got a certain view of black people and it's really getting hammered home in this book which you know, it's not, I, I'm, it's good to know about that stuff. And it's good to like, ah, see, here's, here's the actual document and to, to get it. So you can go like, okay, there's the cool, the, the cool adventure stuff in this book, but you also have to kind of also make sure that you don't gloss over or just uh, ignore uh, the horrible racist stuff in that book. And that's definitely what this is. So yeah, that, that's some comments on, on chapter Chapter 7, Pirates uh, in Captain Blood by Raphael, um, Raphael, God damn it, Santini, Santini, Raphael Santini, uh, Italian-American author.